How's it going? I'm Ken, and I make mistakes, one of which is putting my workbench in a closet. But that's not the one I want to talk to you about today. No, today I want to talk about all the mistakes that I made along the way to making this little guy right here. Uh, 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 this looks like nothing, doesn't it? Gotta get the. Hang on, let me try it. <sighs> Better? Hold on, one more, one more, one more. Oh, yeah. Mm, good family portrait. Hey, how's it going? I'm Ken. I love to make things. I love making things so much, I actually made two little human offspring. Yeah, little, uh, little bitty little bitty people, little human beings. My wife takes most of the credit, but that's only because she did like the labor, but I did a lot of the work and that's, all right, I'm way off topic. Let's talk about this thing. This is a lithophane lamp. But what is a lithophane? Lithophanes have been around since 1820s France. Back then they were made out of thin bits of porcelain that were etched in order to create varying thicknesses of porcelain. When backlit, the thinner areas would allow more light through and as such would look lighter and the darker areas would let less light through, making them look darker. So here is one that's 3D printed since I'm not an 1820s French artist. And when we put a flashlight behind it, bam, family portrait. Awesome. Only one problem. When not backlit, they look like nothing. It doesn't look good. I admit. So the goal was to create a lamp that could backlight a lithophane and in particular have interchangeable uh, lithophanes. So I could pop a new one in anytime I wanted to print one out um, and something that I could put on a nightstand and have glow as sort of a family portrait nightlight. That's the goal. Let's see how we get there. How do we get from here to there? Okay, so step one for me, as per usual, is to ride that fine line between lazy and efficient. In this case, what I mean is going through my previous designs and seeing if there's anything I can cannibalize, anything that's close enough that's in the ballpark that I can start tweaking rather than start from scratch. In this case, I did find something pretty darn close. This little guy here is an LED nightlight that I designed about a year or a year and a half ago with interchangeable face plates. This has got a lot of the things I'm looking for. I've got four LED lights along the bottom here that are glowing up and into a diffuser. In this case, that's made out of a natural PLA. Uh, then in front of that, I've got these interchangeable face plates with little cutouts in them. This little cutout here is a little sun. I made one for my niece with penguins, one for my son with a stegosaurus. It's a pretty cool design. I liked it, but there are things that didn't quite work. So number one, it's a little small. This is tiny size for a lithophane and the aspect ratio is wrong. Number two is... This little access door that I've created here is now gonna end up playing the role of a battery door along the bottom as well as the access door along the top. And I think it's just weak. This tiny little strip of plastic right there, I don't think is gonna hold up to a lot of abuse, um, to a lot of open and close cycles. And so I wanna get that off of there. And number three, probably the worst thing about the whole thing. You've already seen it. I'm gonna talk about it. It's this. It's this gross little ugh, 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 what are you um look so here's the deal i had extra dc barrel plug adapters these little pigtails lying around i had a bunch of 12 volt power adapters lying around i was using that to power a lot of my projects so i figured what the heck let's use it on this one and i don't know why but i took that little pigtail and i just i stuck it out the butt <laughs> out the butt and I also got super lazy. Rather than throw in a power switch of any kind, I just figured we'll unplug it to turn it off and plug it in to turn it on. It, I mean, it's it's lazy. It doesn't look right. This is not something you would not buy a product that has this little rat tail hanging out the back. Rat tail. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got to fix that. So next thing is let's get this thing open in my design program of choice. For me, that's 123D Design by Autodesk. Must be an on button somewhere. Press the Apple thing. All right, so I've added a bit of depth so I can fit in a dual AA battery holder and run this thing off at of three volts. I've improved the design of the battery door to be more durable. 
But I might have done a really bad thing. Just did a bad thing. I regret the thing I did. I did this. I look in particular here at the covers for the bottom and the top here, the, the battery door, the diffuser cover, whatever you want to call it. And it is an ugly, utilitarian, brutal design. It's not good. Like, no one could love it. I made it. I'm its father, and I hate it. I don't know why I did a William Shatner there. Auxiliary control, my Falcon friend. This battery door is thick. It adds a lot of thickness to the top and bottom. In fact, it looks like it's wearing a little bitty hat, you know? And also, I guess it's down here too. So like a little, like a little butt hat, a little hat for its butt. I don't know why anyone would wear a butt hat. I don't wear butt hats. You've probably never bought one. Why does this have a butt hat? I hate it. But, 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 but. Look, it's usable, okay? There are things on here I can work with. So, first thing I want to do is I want to take one of my LED light bars. And by the way, since I haven't shown you one yet, let me just show you what they look like. This is it here. This design, by the way, was flawless. My first draft was my final draft. This was easy, but it also went really well. I've got four LED lights here that are able to stick up and through these little holes that I've designed into it. And then around back, you're going to see I've got these two little mounds that allow me to raise up my dual AA battery holder so that the electronics can slide underneath. And I just screw it into these two little two millimeter holes here that I can put some machine screws into. This is flawless. This is perfect. I love this. So... Let's shove one of these just right up and into this guy and see what it looks like. It's my next step. So shove it on up in there. Right up Main Street. Here's what I find. It looks pretty good with a lithophane in there. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And you'll notice this is empty inside. I didn't even print that diffuser that I was always planning to print, the one that was made out of that natural PLA. I ordered a whole kilogram of that stuff. I spent a good 25 bucks getting that in, and I didn't even need it. I don't even need it. But there's good news. If I don't need that diffuser, I don't need access to the top of this thing. Topless. Nice. And I don't even need this to be squared off. Cut it off. I'm going to take off some material. I'm going to reduce some print time. Let's see what we get. It didn't print, like, well. This is why we have editing. Let's try this one more time. As long as I go to a title card and come back and be in good shape. Blah, 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 Here's what I get. You'll notice I do have a lithophane in there, and it looks pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's not great, but it's pretty good. Um, and now it's time to start looking at this one and picking apart the things I like, the things I hate. First off, the overall shape of it, I think I got right. That's pretty good. I like that. Kind of looks like an old, like, projection TV, and I don't care. That's a nice design. Here's the thing, right? I still hate my battery door. This battery door is terrible. It needs to go. I need to fix it. That's my next step. I also want to go ahead and edit this lamp. So in this case, you'll notice I got about a two millimeter lip up here. It's because it doesn't fit all the way down in because I didn't leave enough of a channel down here to slide it all the way in. I also got my tolerances a little off and I actually had to hammer this in instead of just dropping it in. So whatever, another something to fix. Um, but I mean, the switch fits on here flush. That's pretty nice. Um, oh, another thing I don't like that I want to fix. Uh, that's a lot of light coming out the back of this thing. That's a lot of light coming out the back. My goal for these is that the actual lithophane, the family portrait, the whatever you decide to put in there, is the center of attention in your room, not the you know blue light glowing uh, all over and lighting up the whole darn room. So I want to change that too. But let's start off with that battery door because that's the number one most important fix. Let's get that done because I hate it so, 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 so much. I hate it so much. All right, so when it comes to the battery door, I came up with two ideas. One of them was nearly flawless, and one of them had zero chance of working. One of them took me an hour and a half 
to design. And the other one took me about 14, 15 minutes. I'm going to let you match up which one's which. And I don't need to do that. You know, it's simple. The one that had no chance of ever working is the one that I spent all the time on. And and look, I'm going to talk about it first. Um, I thought I was being really clever and I came up with a very complex idea, which I didn't fully understand the concept of. And, uh, you know, it didn't work because, of course, it wouldn't. That's silly. It's this guy here. So I've got this little bitty tab about a millimeter and a half back here and a little bitty tab about a millimeter and a half up here. And this one I designed to be separated from the rest of the print. So by separating it from the rest of the body, it can be what we call a compliant hinge that's allowed to kind of bend and flex. It uses the natural flexibility of the material to create a sort of hinge. You see this frequently on like those little clear divider boxes that you sometimes buy things in. Uh, they'll use a compliant hinge. Here's why this doesn't work. Number one, it's a little bit challenging to get in there. I think I should be able to get it in. I don't think I'm going to have too much difficulty getting it in. I'm not going to show you how long it took to get this in there. But um, now that it's in, here's the question. How would you get this out? How does it, how does it, uh... Because the only way that I can do it is to just really push from this side. But you wouldn't have access to that side. What, what was I, what was I, what? 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 It's silly, especially when you consider design number two that, again, I came up with and I printed at the same time is this. Look at this. Look at that. Oh. Nailed it. We got our battery door design. We've got our shape. It's time to make our final product. Okay, I'm gonna need you to print it out. And what I end up with is what you've already seen. In this case, my battery door, darn near perfect. Inside, there's my AA batteries on my little LED light bar. If I power it on, boom, look at that, looks awesome. This is a really tight tolerance, a really good fit. Um, lithophanes slide in and out. They are a little bit recessed, not quite flush, but a little bit recessed, which is actually just as good, if not better. And I also went with a new um, concept. It's not my final design here, but I'm using some tin foil or aluminum foil inside to keep the light from bouncing out the back or from shining through the back of it. Um, so when I flip it on, you can see it is pretty much opaque back here. And it also reflects more light into the back of this lithophane, which allows it to glow a little brighter and show a little bit more detail. That is how I got from A to B. Wrap it up. We're done. You probably heard it before. It's a little preachy. All I want you to do is just go make something, anything. It doesn't have to be like, you know, a couple of kids. You don't have to do that. I guess I didn't have to do that. I did do that. That's already done. And now they're out there. Anyways, I thank you for sticking around to the end here. Can this please just be done? Okay, I haven't thought too much about how to end this video. Now the problem with that is, I ended up... You gotta be kidding me. This is too much stuff. Just how it's supposed to work. This is a terrible ending. This was all a mistake. Bye! Come on!